Well, today is a special anniversary for one of the world's most famous planes. And you can join a special celebration in McMinnville. We're on the go with Joe, who's live at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum, learning all about the legendary Spruce Goose. It's really cool that people in Oregon can get up, up close and personal to this, Joe. And Sean, let me tell you something, something I didn't even know until today, and I've been to the Evergreen Aviation Space Museum many times. I'm with Tyson Weiner, the uh, CEO here. They called it the Spruce Goose because Howard Hughes made this flying boat out of wood. The wood actually came from Oregon. I didn't realize it. So when it came back here 30 years ago, it was a homecoming of sorts. It, it was. Uh, Spruce Goose is really the nickname, but the vast majority of the wood used for the construction of the plane is yellow birch. And, and that came from a lumber yard uh, out towards the Oregon coast. And it took its first and only flight 75 years ago to this day, about 1.30 right. p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Correct. So they've got a big 75th anniversary celebration to the public today. There's going to be all sorts of cool stuff. And of course, when you're here anytime at the museum you can see not just the outside the massive 320 foot wingspan but you can head inside the uh, flying boat as it were now Tyson you have a very unique background because you're the relatively new CEO of the museum but before that you flew for the Coast Guard and then you actually headed up their innovation division That's correct and so you're very familiar with planes and the engineering behind planes and you're telling me this is more than just a cool story about this big flying wooden you know plane it really did impact aviation for like decades and decades afterwards that's correct so celebrating the innovation of Howard Hughes in the construction of the Hughes flying boat it significantly advanced the aviation industry uh, in fact almost uh, catapulted the aviation industry for so many important reasons the concept of artificial feel hydraulic controls uh, redundant systems uh, the use of auxiliary power units so fun bit of trivia everybody sees eight engines four on each wing there are actually two more uh, engines inside that help get everything started uh, so no propellers are attached to them but you'll see them in the next shot pretty remarkable and you can see uh, of course the spruce goose there's gonna be all sorts of fun activities going on today there's a documentary screen a special announcement uh, from the governor we can't say That's what right. it is but it'll be happening this afternoon uh, and it's half price admission day so a great time to come out see the uh, entire museum but especially of course celebrate this legendary air airplane and speaking of which guys you know this is one area you don't always get to go to unless you're part of a special tour, but hey, oh, yeah. I know the CEO. So coming up, <laughs> we're going to take you inside and up to the uh, captain seats so here neat. inside the Spruce Goose. More to come in just a bit. Wow. Let's send it back to you in the really studio. Really cool. All right, Joe, thank you.